talking about bank uh, or nifty bank that one has scaled a fresh new record high level in today's trading session as well well, yes, uh, Cheryl, and just yesterday, almost a 1,200 points gain coming in for the banking index. And like you were mentioning that ITs were taking the back seat, but how are the banking majors performed in contrast to the IT bellwethers? And what should one expect from the banks after their outperformance in the earnings season as well? Let's revisit Nikon Sharmia's editor-in-chief, ET Now, stake on this one. From a market standpoint, IT is crucial. IT is important, but it is not relevant right now. Yeah. Banks is where the earning momentum is there. And just look at the banks. I mean, you take some casualties aside, like Kotak Mahindra Bank, which is a case-specific issue, HDFC Bank, where they're moderating growth. But you just take these two names aside. I mean, the two sumos outside, the rest of the banks have delivered, whether it is Indescent Bank or whether it is ICICI Bank or whether it is you know, access. smaller NBFCs or access banks. So markets are telling you that, look, lenders are doing okay. If lenders are growing without NPAs, that means economy is doing well. Liquidity is coming back. Inflation fear is behind us. So time to go back to lenders right now. And I think that is a trade which could be a trade for next couple of days. You know, we were hunting for leadership based on yesterday's price action. Will the leadership come back and lend us? Because that's a large sector. Yeah. That's 35% of the weightage. You take out Kotak, you take out HDFC Bank, it is still a very handsome representation. And I also feel that for HDFC Bank and Kotak also, the collateral damage has been huge. I mean, how much more can they fall? It is not that they are not growing. Mm -hmm. Markets will readjust the growth. See, the underperformance in HDFC Bank is getting checked. The price action in Kotak Mahindra Bank, it just could linger there. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are not the heroes right now, let me put it this way. They are the backbenchers. But if you're the backbencher, that does not mean that, you know, you will fail the test or you will be kicked out of the class. You're yeah. still part of the class. You're still part of this 2021 bull market class. All right, so that's the view coming in from Nikos Zamia, who's the editor-in-chief of ET Now as well as ET Now Swadesh on the entire disco about what's exactly happening in the banking space as well as the IT space or either Nifty Bank versus Nifty IT Index. But uh, which side of the market should you actually bend towards? Is it the IT sector or it is the banking space, given the fact that the IT sector is taking a, a sort of a, a pullback and uh, you have the uh, Nifty Bank that's always been the sectoral leader. So let's put that question to our experts today. You have Rajesh Agarwal as well as Kush Bora joining us on the show. Very good morning to you, Rajesh, as well as Kush. Thank you so much for joining us on ET now. And uh, Rajesh, a uh, multi-million dollar question, isn't it? Uh, which side of the fence should you go, uh, should you lean towards? Is it the banking index or is the IT index? When you talk about Nifty Bank, everyone only and only talks about HDFC Bank saying is a formidable player. Forget about the uh, fact that the stock is not doing much, but in the longer run, that will be a winner. And given the fact that it has a huge weightage on the Nifty Bank, isn't it? But uh, what, according to you, should one do? Should they as, uh, tilt towards IT index as well, given the fact the most of the majors have taken it easy, but they are uh, big players in the global market as well. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Srishti. Good morning, Kush. That's a million dollar question, no doubt on that, because both of the sectors have been doing well. And we as a house believe that going forward also, they would be doing well, despite the fact that IT is not performing at this point of time. Uh, we have seen for the first time in history, I, if I, I, I believe I'm not wrong, that the first time in the history we have seen the three majors uh, cutting down their headcounts by almost uh, on an aggregate of uh, 64 odd thousand. That well, was surprising. But we should not forget the fact that attrition rate has gone down. The balance sheets are strong. These biggies come out with the uh, uh, buyback uh, almost every year. They dole out good dividend. They have cash on the balance sheets. And the deal wins have been quite good, I would say. It's the only, uh, they are waiting for only a trigger of a rate cut in the US where we will find that discretionary spends going up. So again, they will be in the ring, I would say. So somebody looking for a long haul, maybe uh, one or 18 months, 24 months down the line, I think IT can be one of the uh, constituents of your portfolio only in the large cap space, I would say at this point of time, because they are, uh, comfortable on valuation front when you compare to the second rung or the third rung of the IT stock. So I would go ahead with Infosys or a TCS for a uh, medium to long term horizon. But as far as banks are concerned, I think the worst has uh, gone behind. Uh, and I'm says bottomed out. 
and they are just waiting for a lower interest rate regime to happen in the near future, which would help not only NIMs go to go up, but even credit uptake to go up. Uh, large cap are highly undervalued, as Nikon just pointed out that two sumos, although they are sumos, they are they are bench uh, backbenchers, but they are not out of the game. They are still inside the game and. With the kind of uh, size IDFC has grown up after the merger, I think it's one of the uh, five largest bank across the world going to report around 80,000 odd crores of profit in the next year. It's highly undervalued. Somebody looking for a long term horizon, one can go long on IDFC Bank and Kotak Bank too, which after the news of, of two days back of RBI putting restriction has gone down on valuation parameters to a uh, historical low levels of price to book. I think these two sumos are highly undervalued and can be considered for a long-term portfolio. Apart from this, on the PSU side, they are going to do well when we talk of uh, economy going to 5 trillion and 10 trillion. We cannot leave banks behind. Banks are going to do well. And we should include even NBFCs to the entire uh, spectrum. So in the second run, PSU basket, we have seen Bank of Maharashtra giving stellar numbers from the last four or five quarters. So that would one of our picks too. All right. Uh, those are the top recommendations from the large cap space. And apart from that, Bank of Maharashtra continues to be one of the favorites for Rajesh. But Kush, coming to you, looking at the price action, what's your take on IT versus banks, given the uh, move and the momentum that we are seeing in the banking stocks, which one will be your top uh, top favorites at this point? Hi, Srishti. Hi, Rajesh. Hello, Cheryl. Well, uh, you know, I think the uh, you know, if you look at the weekly setup for, let's say, Nifty IT, you know, if you draw a channel, then the uh, Nifty IT index is right now actually at the lower band of that uh, channel. So there is, uh, you know, very clearly pressure and it is likely to continue. So if the index does break those uh, you know, 33,300 uh, odd levels, then you know, it could slip further down. Now, if you compare the same for Nifty Bank, then it's the exact opposite. Now, Nifty Bank is actually in an upward sloping channel, and then there's a very clear possibility that while 50,000 is a very psychologically critical mark, I think 52,000 is the number that you know we should look at uh, for Bank Nifty. So the momentum is very clear. Uh, also, I think you know the secret lies you know in the details. So if you look at the uh, outlook for the stocks, uh, the biggest stock in the uh, uh, you know banking space, HDFC, the uh, the outlook now is getting optimistic. Whereas what happened for the IT space is exactly opposite. Initially, it wasn't the big names, uh, you know, the TCS, uh, Wipro's, and Infosys and HCL Tech of the world that were getting limelight. There, it was the uh, mid cap space, which was Cofort, Persistent, Dsort, and you know the likes of those. Now, even those are starting to come under pressure. So I think uh, perhaps IT, at least for the big names, uh, could be you know uh, something that you want to hold on to from a risk reward perspective. I agree with Rajesh from a medium to a long term perspective. Perhaps I you know holding on to IT stocks or perhaps even a fresh entry from here uh, might make some sense. But if you're a trader from a momentum perspective, it's very clear that you know the bank, uh, the banking stock in the banking space is the way to be. All in all, uh, you know, stick with the banking names. I think the, the debate here is between, you know, which is, what is going to do more, the large ones or the small ones, the PSUs or the private. So I think the Nifty Bank uh, momentum play is likely to continue. 50,000 more of a psychological mark. I think 52,000 is the next level that Nifty Bank is gearing up for. That's the take coming in uh, from uh, both of our experts on where the leadership lies uh, in uh, the market at this point in time, banks versus IT. If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET now.